BCA 101 Introduction to Computers Information Systems. We are in Unit 4 and we're talking about multimedia and we're going to do a short segment here audio and video. We switch to digitizing audio and um, video a number of years back and now instead of uh, audio and video being a wave we now represent it as ones and zeros giving sort of a uh, representation of that we have all kinds of uh, <clears throat> we have all kinds of devices we can use to capture it um, there's digital cameras video cameras that can capture it a lot of uh, smartphones can capture the video. You can um, capture video and audio. You can um, you can use devices like a flip cam designed just to capture this type of uh, material. Lots of different ways. iPads. Um, tablets usually can capture video. A uh, thing to think about here is video can be captured anywhere. Uh, webcams can be literally capturing video 24-7 wherever they're posted and uh, that video can be tapped um, tapped into or stored away somewhere. So we're doing a lot of that. Uh, Google <clears throat> They used to drive around, and they primarily captured, I guess, uh, images, but um, allow us to do uh, street view on Google. We'll take a look at that later. Video editing software. This can be anywhere from free, you know, a little bit of software that allows you to edit or work with uh, video, <coughs> to um, extremely expensive software to edit video and obviously the whole range in between the thing to be aware of if you're going to be doing editing any type of editing of video software where you're going to cut cut out scenes you know you can cut out scenes you're going to add combine video and then render that into you know put in pictures and so forth and then render that into some type of video this would take a higher end computing device typically and the right kind of software uh, this can become very tedious and um, a lot of work but to render you know, after you put everything together and you're still working in 216 they'll lock it up okay. and, uh, to render this into a video. You know, you, you can take an extreme case would be like um, Avatar, where they that was all animation and they'd have to render each of those scenes. <clears throat> How we distribute it, probably one of the most popular ways is YouTube. It's not hard to have your own channel on YouTube. We'll demo that. And you can upload your video to YouTube, and then you can decide out of the cloud. You can give it to specific people. You can do it by a link, or you can make it public. So, you know, and then there's options like here at the college, we have Panopto. That's another way in which we load video on a Panopto server, and then from there we can distribute it to students. You could have your own server, put the video there, then distribute it through the internet. If you did that, it would take a lot of storage for video. You could look at that. Um, the examples of where video is used is um, unbelievable. Everything from education, I'm using it right here, creating a, a video with explain everything on an iPad, and then I push that up to YouTube, give the students a link, and then they can view it. The uh, 
how's this affecting the TV movie industry? Well, one big area 